Today, we're building a signal filter for the Predator using Strategy Builder. This was a user submitted request. We are just using this as an example for those that want to build their own. A free trial for this and much more can be found on the Discord, links down below. But without wasting any more time, let's get into it. To get things started, we're heading over to our Strategy Builder. To open this up, you go to New and select Strategy Builder, and then this will come up. From here, just select Next. And we can name this whatever we want. So we'll say EMA RSI filter. Next. For the calculate method, just to keep things simple, we're selecting on bar close. This just means that it's only going to calculate once when the bar closes. For additional data, we don't need it because we're sticking to one time frame. So let's just skip this part. Our inputs and variables, this is where we can customize our settings inside the strategy. So we're going to add a few options just to make things a little bit easier later. And the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to customize our EMA and our RSI inside the strategy. So we don't have to keep going into strategy builder to change every little setting. So I'm just going to say EMA period, and I'm just going to set this at 89 and we can change this later inside the strategy if we choose. So just hit okay. Now, I also want the freedom to customize our RSI later. So again, go to add, we'll name this RSI period, and we'll set the default to eight. And now we do RSI smooth, and this one we'll set it at three. And this could be whatever you guys want. We're just using these as an example. The next thing we need is the tags to be able to turn on our filter and turn off our filter. And we need one for the longs and one for the shorts. So let's add this. So long filter on, we'll select a string. And our default is going to be the actual tag that we're going to use. So we'll say L filter on. And we just need a filter off and to do the shorts as well. So long filter off string L filter off. So now that we have the tags that we're going to use inside the predator to turn our filter on and off. And now we're also going to add an extra variable. And this is just going to be something we use in order to make sure we're only creating one signal per direction. And I'll show you why that's important as we're building the strategy. But for now, let's select add, and we're going to name this long direction. And we're going to select a bool. And we're going to keep this as false to start off with. And we're going to do the same for the shorts. So short direction and bool, and again, false. So now that we have that, let's go to our next section. All right, in our conditions and actions page, this is where we can actually build the conditions to create our signal. So the first thing I want to do is build our long signal. So in here, we're going to make sure we are in set one. So for our longs, I want to make sure our price is above the EMA. And for our shorts, I wanna make sure it's below the EMA. So we're gonna start off with the longs. So let's go to add price. We want to select the current close price. We want to make sure it's greater than, and then scroll down to EMA. And when you select EMA, make sure you plot it on the chart. That way we can actually see it when we enable the strategy. And you want to go down to the period and you want to select our user input for your EMA period. Once we have that, let's get out of here, hit okay. And now for our next long condition is we want to make sure our current RSI is above 70. So again, let's select add, go to indicator, scroll down all the way to RSI. For the RSI, again, let's make sure we plot it on the chart. That way we can see it when we enable the strategy. And scroll down. We're going to select our parameters here as well. So period, user input, RSI period, and do the same for the smooth. Let's not forget our value. 
This one, we're going to use the actual RSI. And I want to make sure our RSI is greater than 70. So let's go to MISC. We scroll down to numeric value and we can select 70 from here. So now that we have this, we want to make sure we're only creating one signal as soon as the conditions are met and not on every single bar. So how we're going to do this is we're going to utilize that Boolean that we made in the previous page. So go to user variable, long direction. We want to make sure it is equals to go to misc and select false. So what this means is when the current price is above the EMA, when the RSI is above 70, and when our Boolean is false, and only then can we create our signal. So to create our signal, let's go down to our actions page. And for this one, I'm going to draw a text. That way the strategy will tell us when our filters turn on or off. But you can also use arrows, diamonds, triangles, whatever CC is for you. I'm just giving more examples. And just like my previous video, we're going to go into the tag and we can just click on these strings and we can actually remove them because we're going to add our own user inputs. And these tags are going to be what we actually use with the predator so the predator can enter and manage our trades. So once we delete everything, let's go into our first string, string zero, set, go to user input, and we're going to turn our long filter on. For this to work with the predator, it needs to be tag plus current bar. And the current bar is just used to identify the bar that your indicator creates the drawing object on. So how we do that, go back to add, go to set, go to misc, and select current bar. And once we have that, that is all we need for the tag. So hit okay. And once we're done with the tag, we can go into the text and this is going to be different than the tag. This you can type in whatever you want. The predator is not going to read this text. So here we can just say long on. That way whenever it prints, it's actually going to show on the chart and we know if our filter is on or off. So we have long on. And the last thing we need for our drawing object is where it gets set on the chart. So now we're going to move down to the Y axis. And this is just how far up or down our drawing object gets set on the chart. What I like to do is I like to set it based on the close. Then I'm going to go to ticks. And because I want our long text to be below the price, I'm just going to give it a negative tick offset. So let's do negative 25. And now that's all we need for the text. So now we have to turn our Boolean to true. So these conditions do not keep printing a new text on every new candle. So let's go back to add, go to misc, scroll down to our set long direction. And we're going to check mark this and this is going to turn our Boolean true. So now that we have our long filter turned on, we need a way to turn it off. So let's go to set two. And for what we're working with today, it needs one of two conditions to turn our filter off. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to the group button and make sure you select if any. So for my first condition to turn off our long filter is if the price goes below our EMA. So I go to price, close, and for this one, I can use cross below because as soon as it crosses below the EMA, I consider this dead and I'm looking for a new setup. So go to indicator and then back to our EMA. And again, let's plot this one on the chart. And we want to make sure that once again, we select our user input for the EMA period. Once we have that, just hit okay. And for the next condition to turn off our long filter, is if the RSI drops below 70. So again, I'm going to go to indicator, scroll down to RSI. Again, let's just plot it on the chart. 
and make sure we select the correct period and the smooth as well. And make sure we select the correct value that we're working with. So RSI. So with this one, again, if it crosses below our MISC numeric value and 70. So if any of these conditions are met, then I want our filter to turn off. And the other thing we need is to make sure our current Boolean that we used before. So our user variable, our long direction, this is only going to activate if this is true. So if these conditions are met, let's draw our text to turn off our filter. So I'm going to go to set one and I'm just going to copy this one to make things a little bit easier. Go to go back to set two and paste our draw text. And now we just have to change a few things. So just click on it, go into the tag, go to string zero, go to set, and change this to our long filter off. And now for the text that's going to be displayed on the chart, let's just change this so it says off. And for the Y axis, I want our off filter to be above the current price. So I can just go back into this and we can change this to a positive number. That way it's 25 ticks above the price. Now we have to make sure we turn our Boolean back to false. This way it's only going to create one candle in either direction. So again, go to add misc set long direction. Just leave this unchecked and this is going to keep the Boolean false. All right, so let's review what we have quickly before we create our shorts. So here we're in set one. If the current price is above the EMA and if the RSI is above 70 and if our current direction is false, meaning it hasn't detected a long filter yet, then it creates a text that the predator is going to read and it's going to turn our direction to true. Then once our condition is true, if it detects any one of these conditions, either the RSI goes back below or the EMA goes back below, it's going to draw another text to turn our filter off and it's also going to turn our direction back to false. So our set one can start looking for another setup. So that's pretty much all we need for the longs. Now let's create the shorts quickly and load this on the chart so we can see how it works. So easiest way to do that is I like to just right click on it and make a copy. Now you're going to see set three. And all we have to do is go into each setting and do the opposite. So if our close is less than the EMA, and everything should be on there already. Or if the RSI is less than, and for this one, I want to do 30 for the shorts. And if our long direction, make sure to switch this to the short direction now. So if this is false, then we can create a text. So let's change this tag. Let's do a short filter on, and let's change the text to say, short on. For the y-axis, I want to make sure our short on is above our current price. So let's do a positive ticks, select OK. And for the last thing, change our long direction to short direction and make sure you select it to make it true. Now set three is the exact same as set one, just flipped over to the short side. Now we're going to do the same for set number two. We're going to copy it to make set number four. And just like the previous set, we're going to flip everything. So cross below is going to change to cross above. And for the RSI, again, cross above and change this to 30. Hit OK. And again, make sure you change your long booleans to short booleans. And our draw text. Now we want to change this to short off. And our text will say the same 
short off. And we want this displayed underneath our current price. So again, negative ticks for this one. And last but not least, our long Boolean gets set to a short Boolean. And that should be all we need for this example. You don't need to set any stops. You don't need to set any targets because the predator is going to pick up on these signals and is going to enter and manage your order. So once we have this, just hit compile. Now that we have that, let's load it onto our chart so we can see what we're working with. So right click, go to strategies. And now we want to find our EMA RSI filter. Here you're going to find our EMA period, the RSI we're working with, and all of our tags. So let's hit apply, enable this, and now you're going to see any time our filters got turned on or they got turned off. So here it turns on, turns off. Here we turned on, turned back off. So here we have all of our short conditions. Okay, it seems to be working. So yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. Just uh, when it's above the EMA, it's turning on. When it's below, it turns on to the short. Now I go through this every single signal video, but I'm going to go over it again, is we always need to make sure we select the correct tag. So here we have our tag with a little space. So that means when we're inputting these into the predator, we need to add this little space at the end. So it's going to be our tag and then little space bar at the end. I'm gonna show you how to do that just now. Just keep in mind, S filter on, S filter off, and L filter on, L filter off. So let's go into the predator. We're almost done. I'm going to select the show historical traits just so we can see them quickly, but I recommend turning this off while live trading or else it could use up a lot more resources. So just select that. We're going to do a tick stop of I don't know, let's do 40 ticks. We're going to scroll down. We're going to do a final profit of, let's do 100 ticks with a trail stop that follows each new candle. And that can start after 10 ticks. Now we're going to set up our filter signal. So go to custom signal, go to filter signal. So remember L filter on with a little space at the end. L filter off with a space at the end. If your indicator does not have the space, you don't need to add this space. It's just if you have the space at the end. So S filter on, S filter off. Now that we have our filters, let's go to our built-in auto entries. For this one, let's select engulf or whatever one you're using. I want to trade engulfing and I also want to color the engulfing candles. So everything looks okay. Let's hit apply. Now that it's enabled, we're going to look up here to the new validation system and it's going to show us if the tag that we put into the predator is actually showing up as a valid tag. So we can see our longs have a check mark. That means the tag is okay and it's actually reading that tag. So we know our long filters are good, but now if we look at the short filters, we're going to see a little hourglass. And the hourglass just means that it either did not pick up when it was initially enabled, or it's still looking for it. So chances are is if you see this hourglass and your tag that you're looking for is on the chart already, that means there's most likely a problem with how the tag was put into the predator. So if we take a closer look, let's look at the tag for short filter on. There is no space at the end. So if we go into the short on, there is supposed to be a space between the on and the number. Here, if we compare the shorts to the longs, there is a space at the longs, so it's a check mark no space with the short, so there is no check mark. And if we look at the short filter off, we can see we have a lowercase f. 
So let's get out of here and go back into the Predator. Scroll down and we're going to fix the short filter off, add a space, and the short filter on, add a space there as well. Now hit apply, let's enable again. And now we can see we have all of our check marks are okay and it's actually taking traits. So here we can see where it entered, where it, where it took it out. So looking pretty okay so far. We should probably do a high fill resolution if you're doing historical back test. But the best way to actually test is to actually play it on either playback or run it on a sim. So I'm just going to hit play so we can see it function really quick. So we're looking for an engulfing bar. Here we were looking for an engulfing bar once our short filter got turned on. So it turned on. And now it's just trailing our stop. That's fine. So again, you can see our filters if they're on or off up here. Order submitted. So now it's just trailing, okay. All right, so I think I'm going to pause it there. I think we all kind of get the idea. It turns on or off. And the last thing I want to actually talk about on top of this new validation system is if you want to turn on your filter manually just for the signals, you can just click on the button and it's going to activate it manually or you can turn it on, whatever you want. Otherwise, it's just going to run automatic. So just to summarize this video, the filters are just for your built-in Predator auto entry. So I'm gonna cut the video here. I hope you guys found it useful in how to create your own signals with the Predator and how you can filter on and off your own entries. I'm going to try and create more of these videos every week just to help people get a better understanding of the whole strategy builder and signal system. I know it seems a little bit complicated right now, but as more and more videos come out, trust me, this whole thing will get a lot easier. But with that, Take care, enjoy.